What's happening, everyone? It's Abdallah here along with Jess and Gizmo. Hi, Internet. And we are back with another Loot Crate Live. Yes, this is great. So in case you guys don't know, we do a lot of Loot Crate unboxings on this uh, channel here, which is pretty awesome considering the fact that you guys get the first look at all these awesome items over here. So Jess, why don't you tell everyone what Loot Crate is and what it's all about and tell them what we have in store. We got a pretty cool episode today. Okay, so Loot Crate is a monthly subscription box where you get really cool stuff delivered to your home, like this stuff. Yeah, you guys can see my mouse cursor. Yeah, so Loot Crate is a bunch of random stuff, really cool stuff. Um, yeah. You pay, on average, about $20 a month, and you get, or, 20 Yeah, like right around 20 bucks. Right yeah, 20 right here, bucks, look at that. Depending on what you are, you know purchasing but there's a bunch of different kinds of loot crates there's loot pets and there's loot wear and there's loot anime and loot gaming and there's like a fancy loot dx yeah yeah we're loot crate just DX. looking into that that's like a premium loot crate. yeah it seems pretty cool like we what we're doing right now is we're unboxing the regular loot crates uh, which are super fun, um, but there's like a Loot Crate DX, which is like We've a higher-end one. We've never seen this before, so we were looking into it. Yeah, it seems pretty interesting. I saw this in there, and I wanted this like so bad, this like Legend of Zelda like lightweight hoodie. Okay, that, that's pretty How did sweet. I miss out on that? That's I'm kind of sad now. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of cool uh, items that you can get in Loot Crate DX as well. And it looks like there's a Harry Potter crate, or Magic is their next theme. Yeah, look at which that. Which you'd have to order by the 19th. That's right, that's right. So Antihero is one of them, which is pretty fun. Uh, you look see at those different... sunglasses. What sunglasses? These? Yeah, those are cool. Yeah, those do look cool. Yeah, anyway, so for Luke Wright DX, it would be 41 bucks a month, which is like it's twice as pricey, much. But... but you get a lot of stuff in there, so yeah. it's good. So anyway, go through. You guys can uh, find the affil affiliate links in the description below. Or just go to lootcrate.com uh, slash abdallahsmash026, like it says right over there. Yeah. So anyway. One of the important things is, though, that you order before the 19th of the month because anything after that is not qualified for that month's crate. That's so right. So the 19th is the very latest you can order. Do it. Do it. So anyway, Let's since go. we're here, uh, we've got a double episode for you guys. We're going to yeah. unbox September, and we're going to unbox October. So they're going to be pr some pretty cool ones. The September theme was Speed, mm -hmm. which was very fun. I love Speed, and there's a couple things in there that I'm super excited to show you guys. And uh, the October theme... Is the one I'm super excited to show you guys. Yeah, is Horror. Ooh, yeah, it's going to be pretty fun. So if you guys are excited for the episode, uh, definitely smash that like button. Stick around to the very end, because uh, we're just going to have a good time with it. So let's do it. And not to scare you, Internet, but Christmas is in 38 days from That's today. Right. So, like... If you're like, what am I going to get so-and-so? A loot crate. Get them a loot crate for Christmas. It's going to be awesome. Okay, so not only are we going to go through and show you guys uh, the loot crate of each of those months, but we're going to show you guys the loot pets version as well. And that's why we got Gizmo here. That's why we have Gizmo here. Uh, the loot pets is primarily made for dogs. but We don't we, have one of those. We don't have any dogs. So what we do is we dress our cats up. <laughs> Normally we borrow a dog or two, um, mm -hmm. but the toys in September's loot pets are kind of geared more towards a larger dog. And That's we right. Don't really know any larger dogs? And I know you're thinking about Lucky. Some yeah. Of you, but Lucky lives far away. But look at this. What kind of shirt did you just put on it? How Hold did on. you know what I did? <laughs> don't you, you want to introduce the crate? Yeah. Okay. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Loot Pets crate, as you guys can see over here, For looking speed. pretty awesome. Uh, yeah. The theme is speed for Loot Pets, and Jess was dressing up Gizmo. Uh, just so that we can see. So that is awesome. Gizmo's on board with his, oh, what is that? It says Stark. Stark Motor uh, Stark Racing. Stark Industries? Yeah, Stark Industries. He's Iron Cat. Motor Racing. Look at this Iron Cat. Wow. He's, uh... <laughs> He's thrilled to be wearing this, and he looks stunning. And the t-shirt in the Loot Pets matches your t-shirt that you get in, in Loot, Loot Crate. Crate yeah. So spoiler alert. But, um, yeah, you can go through so and put can, on your cat. You can match with your cat or your dog, or if you get a small enough size and you got a large enough turtle, your turtle. Yeah, do whatever. that. Whatever. All right, so other than that, boom. In case you get, whoa, oh, dang. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is like. Lawn darts. Yeah, this is actually a, a missile. <laughs> it's, it's a, a lawn dart. Yeah, it, is it a lawn dart? What is It's a classic lawn game. Yeah, so, it's a doggy you dart. throw this doggy dart. 
this golden doggy dart, and, that's and then cool. the cat. No, the cats don't fetch after it. Dogs the do. The dogs go through and they fetch after this. So this thing is pretty awesome. So it's golden. Anyway, the next thing that we got over here is oh, Gizmo, Gizmo. Will you play with this tire? No. Because Gizmo says he won't play with the tire, but that's okay. This is called an X tire ball. Easy for dogs to pick up and fetch. Tire tough jingle ball. So that's pretty cool. You just launch this. Like, uh, what's what is it with dogs? Like, you just throw stuff and they're naturally gonna go fetch it for you. Is that like in their blood? Is that how dogs work, Internet? Raise your hand in the comments right now if you guys have a dog. And that's how they work. And that's how they work. Raise your hand. I want to know how many dog owners out there. Would your dog have a field day with this awesome thing? I think so. It's pretty rugged, right? It's made out of real tires. I'm with that. I know. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious. I want to see all you guys in the comments. How many guys have that? All right, so over here, what we have next is Mach 3 Munchies. Mach 3 Munchies. You can see that over there. They're beefy beefies. treats for dogs. I don't want to open it. Well, you know, that's actually resealable. We can try to give Gizmo one. No. What? Gizmo doesn't eat Why? Dog food. It's not. It doesn't matter. Potato flour, potato starch, glycerin, beef, gelatin, sugar. Seems pretty much all natural. It says provide one treat per five pounds. Gizmo's about five pounds. Gizmo's at least ten pounds. <laughs> so then he can have two treats. Gizmo, you want one or what, dude? No. He wants out of the shirt. Sorry. He wants out of the shirt. Uh, but he okay. has one more shirt to wear. But anyway, so you got a whole bunch of treats for your dogs. A lot of you guys are dog owners out there. I'm looking at all of you guys, oh. like uh, Moonful Spoon and Master Blaster and Andrew. All you guys in the comments, Brickland Michael. Yeah, you guys are all dog owners, so you guys will get a kick out of loot pets because you know you get some pretty cool treats. For yes, and of course, what we're gonna get is an exclusive uh, little charm that you can put on your dog's uh, dog tag. And it matches up with the actual pin that you get in the Loot Crate package. So, yeah, that's pretty awesome. I thought that this little shirt is pretty cute. It's, look, it is pretty cute. It's a Stark. And I'm pretty sure that if you have a toddler, you can put this on your toddler. They have to be pretty tiny. Yeah, a toddler. Like a newborn. Yeah, like a newborn baby. If you had a, there you go. <laughs> if you had a newborn baby brother or sister, hey, what do you know? We got you a loot dog skirt. <laughs> they don't have to know where it came from. It just looks cool, right? All right, so that's loot pets for uh, the month of speed. Uh, let's take a look at the loot crate speed. All right, Gizmo. Uh, and we'll go from there. Later. So I'll have to go get Gizmo in a little bit. But that was pretty cool. What would you guys think? Out of all those items in there, let me know right now in the comments which one your favorite were. Uh, just because uh, I like to hear that. I like the audience participation, all of you guys. Me too. So let's go. Uh, this is the loot crate over here. We're going to pop this bad boy open. But before we do, we always take a look at the strategy guide. <laughs> this is the strategy guide. Speed. Awesome. So I love that. All right. So speed. Transform your crate. Yes. Oh, um, okay. The inside of our crate is green. Okay. So we're not going to transform our crate. But you can. You can transform your crate into like a car. Yes. That looks pretty cool. It is pretty sweet. Flatten, refold, lift up the tabs, put them on in. They're like coming out with really Green, cool. Though. Yeah, see, that's like a gray looking. See, it's got some some um, lines in it. Road see, detail. The, yeah, road detail. That's pretty good. Sometimes pretty good painting. Some like city detail. It's like camo. It's like Batmobile, oh, it's right? Like, yeah, it's an, it's like a, if Wonder Woman's jet had a car version. Yeah. All right, so that's pretty good. So a lot of you guys like the uh, the dog shirts. Uh, Michael liked the tire ball. Uh, that was pretty good. Uh, ball Taser Lopez liked the ball as well. The tire was good. All right, so here we go. Moving on. Oh, so now this is this one's pretty cool. So how many guys? Raise your hand in the comment section below if you guys watch the Flash or Arrow or Arrow. Those are my two favorite shows right now. We're in the middle of finishing off Arrow's season, and then we're going to go watch season two of, of Flash. But, uh, yeah, apparently what we have right over here is the uh, the Flash or Arrow. I don't know which one this is. I'm going to surprise you. Uh, but it's a it's a hood ornament. Yeah, That's so cool. you can add it to the front of your car so you can be super cool with your What do we have? Tell Arrow. me about Arrow. Yes, I like Arrow better than Flash anyway. Really? Okay, all you guys, Team Arrow or Team Flash? Who do you think's better? Or who do you think show is better? Okay, fine. Or who do you like more? How about that? Like, in a fight, I know that Flash will beat Arrow any day. Duh. Because he's, uh, he's fast. And no one beats the Flash. 
But I still like, I like Stephen Amell, and I like everything about Arrow. I don't know the guy's name who plays Flash, but I think he's pretty cool. Okay, so that's, yeah, that's pretty great. So is this magnetic on the it bottom? It is magnetic. So you just pop that right on the top of your car and hope nobody... And hope no one just, off. like, grabs it. <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 it would make a really fun magnet. It would make a really fun magnet. I don't think anyone will actually put this on their car. So you're going to walk into someone's house one day. It's going to be on their fridge. Yeah, I think this could be, like, a paperweight. But you can put it on your car if you want to. Or and fridge. maybe, like, or fridge or do anything. Like I if think you have one of the mini fridges... Like, if you're in college or something, you have that in your dorm. You can yeah. stick that right on the top. So a lot of you guys are on Flash. A lot of you guys say Flash is better. I don't know. I, I, I think that the Arrow show is a lot... It, it's pretty cool. I, I, lo I like both the shows. Just like Flash just like Flash, better than Arrow. I think that there's too much going on in the Arrow show. Like, why am I back on the island all the time? Like, where <laughs> am I? Well, how did I get back here? Why am I back here? Yeah. Like, why can't we just go on with our lives? Why does Damien Dark look like the human equivalent of mayonnaise? Like, right? all of these are questions I have, and I can't answer them, so... Anyway. So, Arrow. That's, that's Arrow. That's I mean, Arrow. I like Arrow. Arrow's got a pretty cool, diverse cast. I like that... I, I love Diggle. Yeah, Diggle's cool. I like Canary. I like Black no. Canary. I no. like Speedy. No. I like uh, Titan. Isn't his name Titan? Titan? Diggle? Isn't that his name? I don't know. His name's Diggle. That's like no, the coolest like, name on the planet. He's got a code name Why with his like you, mask his, now. His code name should be Code Diggle. Mm hmm. Code Diggle, sure. All right, anyway, so there you have it. It's a hood ornament style figure. Super cool. <laughs> okay, so it's hood ornament style. It's yes. not something that you put on your thing. It's okay, a hoodie, apparently. <laughs> oh, hoodies. Yeah, sure. You can wear it. Sure, sure. Just figure that out. Yeah, it's made out of high quality hard plastic. We recommend you display it proudly, maybe on this very crate, that it transforms into a car. Lucky13 says, I like it when the shows cross over into each other. I, too, enjoy that. That is really That's fun. the best part. That Crossover really... episodes. Yeah. Always. Anyway, so yeah, you, we got the Arrow one, uh, and that's great. So, yeah. All right, moving on. Okay. Let's Arrow. You know, I like reading these because there's some articles. Oh, I can't really ah, say that. Don't look at that. No, um, uh, there's some articles in here about, uh, like, different things. This one says the top ten trick arrows. And we're since we're talking about Arrow, I think that would be pretty cool to read some of them, right? It says, like, there's a handcuff arrow. Hmm. How does that work? Aqua, I don't know. Aqua lung arrow. Like, think about it. If you were shooting handcuffs on somebody, like, think of the d their hands would have to be here, or else you would shoot them anywhere else. I don't know. Wouldn't you? Aqua lung arrow. And think about that. Mm -hmm. Explosive arrow. We've seen those. Ricochet arrow that bounces off the walls. Mm -hmm. Phantom zone arrow. Uh, locking Kryptonians away in a spooky shadow realm. Hmm. There's a glue arrow, a grappling hook arrow, a net arrow, atomic warhead arrow, and of course the boxing glove arrow. Remember that one, Jess? I don't. You but don't. It sounds ridiculous. Yeah, it is ridiculous. Like in the comics, he, uh, Arrow had a boxing glove pointed at the end of it, and he fired it, and it knocked the guy out. And then in the show, they had a reference to that in one episode. It was so silly. All right, moving on. Boxing glove arrow. Tell me you guys know about the boxing glove arrow. Yes. I don't yes. Know. All right. That's news to me all right so let's take a look we have a battlestar galactica vinyl replica yeah it's a spaceship guys okay yeah so this is battlestar galactica how many guys are fans of battlestar galactica raise your hand yeah i'm not familiar with this show yeah we're not too familiar i know that there was a, a really old version of battlestar galactica and then there was like a, a reboot of it and i've heard that if you just like don't try to watch the old one and just watch the new one you're gonna enjoy it like I've heard that quite a few times. Yeah. Because we tried, we tried, but we started with the old stuff, and we just, spaceship. Yeah, boxing glove, arrow. Anyway, so yeah, this is the, the Scar. Uh, apparently the name of the ship is called the Scar. Uh, when you're traversing space, oh, running. that makes sense. See? Yeah, running for your literal the life. on oh, the ship right, right there. It's bleeding because the ship is apparently alive. Interesting. So the Scar is the fastest of the razor, Raiders, the Cylon. Primary attack fleet and a reboot of the classic series. Luckily, this figure is powered down and perfect to display. It is pretty cool. Like, if you were a fan, this is pretty sweet. That would be pretty awesome for you. Okay, so moving on, we have the shirt. This is the shirt. This is so, the big person version. Yeah, so of now. The little person version. You can that... go through and get the Stark Industries uh, motor racing shirt. 
which looks awesome. And in case you have the loot pet one, you can match with you can your match cat with your dog or, or cat. Your cat. Yeah, either one. Same your cat. That's right. Box and glove arrow is totally classic. Elite Kendall forty one says. All right. So moving on. So right over here, we got a keychain. Okay, so Jess is going. Yeah, Jess is going to wear two loot crate T-shirts on top of each other. It's pretty good. And look at that fit. Yeah. yeah, wear it, wear it, wear it. It's being worn. It's being worn. Okay, there okay. you go. Got it. Thanks. With your other shirt kind of poking through. Don't look at me. All right, fine. So this is uh, the the next thing is the Batwing keychain, looking cool. Batman is I cool. I almost took this out of the box the other day because I just wanted it for mm -hmm. myself. So it's called a little box. Yeah. So a Batman Batwing keychain. The Stealth Edition. Stealth edition. I don't know what that oh, means. Oh, sorry. It's on mine. Oh, okay. Stealth. Stealth edition. So, uh, perhaps the most famous Batwing is from the 1989 film. Using references from Warner Brothers archives, Metalworks has crafted a detailed stealth black replica just for you. It is pretty detailed, guys. Check that out. Is that really detailed? What is that? That's pretty cool. Hold on. Hold it still. I want to see the detailing with the reflection of light. Keep rotating it. That's pretty good. Wow. That's cool. Do you like my nails? Yeah, does it open up? Does it open up like no. bottles or anything like that? No. We have a Batman <laughs> bottle opener from a different loot crate. <laughs> All right, that's kind of cool. This is super cool, and it's going on my keys. Yeah, I'm that looks great. about this. Okay, so, wow. Did you know, so how, okay, I'll, I'll actually ask all of you guys right now. Okie dokie. And the person who's the closest wins a shout out. How about this? So, what is the top speed of the Batwing? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay. So, while you guys are guessing the top speed of the Batwing, uh, we'll give you guys some top speed of some other stuff. So, apparently, the Batmobile has a top speed of 350 miles per hour. Hmm. Fancy. And that's just the Batmobile that just goes on the street right over here. All the way down into, like... Uh, Atlanta? Yeah. <laughs> right into Atlanta with the uh, apocalypse. The but anyway... Red. That's pretty cool. So the Bat Cycle goes about the exact same speed. Top speed around 350 miles per hour. The Bat Boat. Bat Boat, that Jess. That is awesome, guys. He's got everything. Bat Boat, Bat Cycle, Bat... Bat Boat goes 120 miles per hour. And the... I felt like it should go faster. And the Bat Copter. The Bat Copter. I'm looking. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. The Bat Copter, 190... 192. Why is it so obscure? Not like 192. What is that? So we're we're guessing the... Um, mm, this is pretty close. Oh, that one's... Yeah, Alexander Paul White says uh, about 3,400 miles per hour. That's oh, pretty... Oh, oh. TK Tang. <laughs> Almost. Yeah, TK Tang says 4,000 miles per hour. That is pretty close. That's very close. Yeah, anyone going to be like spot on? I don't think... Oh! oh, come on, Wiley. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, man, the guy below him. Oh, good job. Wiley just did a quick Google search. How fast does a Batwing go? I saw Super that. Fast. No, you got it right. Absolutely. Wiley Too Simple with 4,400 miles per hour. Congratulations. And Umbreon Draws did it too. Nice. Good job, Google you guys know searches. You're Batman. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You and Google. I'm just kidding. Okay, next. How many of you guys seen the uh, the movie Gone in sixty seconds? Yeah, Gone in sixty seconds. Boom. Boom. That is the Eleanor. The car. The diecast car, part of the Hollywood Hollywood series Seven Line, nineteen sixty seven Ford Mustang Shelby GT five hundred, featured in the Nicolas Cage classic. You know what's cool? What? Besides that, mm -hmm. everything we showed you in this box has the Loot Crate exclusive mm -hmm. on it. So yeah. these are all things that in some way are only Loot Crate. Like maybe you can buy the Eleanor other places or something, but there's always something slightly different about the Loot Crate, like a different color yeah. or a different option. I can't think of any other things besides color, but... That's super cool that every single thing we pulled out of here was Loot Crate exclusive. Yeah, no doubt. That's pretty awesome. So you guys can't get your stuff, your hands on these unless you like go to eBay and you buy them for like twice as much. Or you go to a convention and you or, buy yeah. them for twice as much. Yeah, you get them at conventions. I see people selling this stuff all the time on conventions. It's cool. Anyway, so... Oh, cool. Whoa, the hood goes up and down. Oh, Those no. Those were my favorite late, uh, Hot Wheels cars growing up. 
The ones that had like the hoods that opened or the oh. doors that opened. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I was a big fan of Hot Wheels. It's not a collectible anymore. I oh no! You touched it. You ruined it. You took it out of the original packaging. Yeah. Oh man. I'm not good with collectibles. I like to play with my toys. All right. So Lewis says, uh, asks if you could use the coupon code for Loot Anime. You absolutely can. Just mm -hmm. use the coupon code Abdallah Nation right over here, and uh, just put that in. You'll save a couple bucks, which would be great. Yeah, Loot Anime, Loot Wear. Any of them. Anything. Anything on the loot. So what else do we have? Just the pin left? We have the pin left. Okay, so here we go. Loot pins. Uh, that's another cool thing. Loot crates stepping up their game with loot pins. They are so cool, and the next one I think is even cooler. Yeah, loot pins. So this has a little loot year tire on there. So September speed, okay. done. So go through, collect them all, put them on your shirt, put them on your backpack, and have a good time with that. So that was really fun. I, I enjoyed that one. I liked quizzing you guys on the top speed of the bat vehicles. I, I really like that Batman keychain. Yeah, so why don't we ask everyone in the comments right now. Uh, and this shirt. Yeah, like what are shirt. your favorites out of the speed crate that we saw just now? Out of all those items, what is your favorite? Let me know. Can you put this on that side so yes, I can Yes, I up? can. Good. Okay, that was awesome. I do like that. Uh, my favorite? Hmm. I need to go find Gigi. Yeah, you got to go, go find Gizmo? Yeah. Okay, so Jess is going to go find Gizmo while I'm... Oh, why are we going to find Gizmo, you ask? I don't know. We might need him for something. So that was fun. Uh, let's see. So we are, let's see. <laughs> Gizmo. Uh-oh, here we go. Okay, we are back indeed. So Gizmo's here. Uh, Dan likes the uh, Batman keychain. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I like the shirt, the hoodies. Hoodies? Wait, there wasn't a hoodie in the that one. The hoodie is the hood. Oh, the hood ornament looking thing. I thought that it's was kind of cool a too. It is called a hoodie. You're right. Uh, ZP Tube likes the Batmobile or the Batwing. That was good. All right. So let's move on. Uh, we've got another Loot Pets over here. Goodness, who's back for modeling? All right, our favorite model, ladies and gentlemen. These are only cats small enough to fit in our shirts. That's right, all our cats are big boys. Oh, wait, this is the coolest shirt. <laughs> and I I almost even like the cat ver or the doggy version better than the regular one. Like, okay. by like this much, by like a hair. They're almost the exact same shirt, and they're so flipping cool. If you like our background, mm -hmm. then you will be a fan or not a fan uh -oh. based on your feelings. Yeah, let us know. Are you guys fans of the AMC's Walking Dead? The Walking we Dead? Are. We're huge fans of The Walking Dead. We're totally caught up on it. It's great. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, quite, it's quite the show. It's it is great. definitely quite the show. Definitely gives you the feels every time. Uh, so we won't spoil anything in case you guys didn't see the um, yeah. the new season premiere. But check out the newest member of... of oh, I gotta go this oh way. there we go. Negan, Negan Sluggers. Wow, Negan Sluggers. So, good job, Gizmo. Good job, Gizmo. This shirt is so cool. And Gizmo's purring, so he's happy to be wearing it. Yep. It's got Lucille the bat on uh -huh, it. And Negan's, Negan's bat. It's just a super cool shirt, so. That is a very cool shirt. So this theme is horror, okay? Horror. So AMC, Walking <laughs> Dead. Raise your hand if you're a fan of The Walking Dead. Let's see some Walking Dead fans over there. Eenie. Uh, if you are, uh. Eenie. Oh, no. Eenie. Eenie. Okay. So if you are, if you're young, most likely you probably don't watch the show, and I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, but if you're, if you're our age, then it's a cool show. Or slightly younger. Or slightly younger. I have some students who watch it, and that's like 13. 14. Yeah, 13 year olds. I don't know. I mean, viewer discretion is advised. Viewer so, discretion is advised. So whatever whatever your, parents, your parents say. Yeah, whatever your parents say, go by go. that. All right, so um, we also have the Mr. Wow, this mystery machine is Dude, totally I'm green. I'm so, like, a fan. I love Scooby-Doo. Like, I'm a huge Scooby-Doo fan. So this dog toy that doesn't make <laughs> sense, this invisible Scooby-Doo This fan, invisible chroma keyed out um, <laughs> It looks like you mystery somehow, machine. it's like a balloon. Yeah, it's it's a mystery machine. <laughs> it's a squeaky toy. And it's a squeaky toy for your dog. Scooby-Doo, done. Ladies and gentlemen, that's kind of cool. <laughs> and of course, we have get some October... Spooky snacks. Spooky snacks. It's so spooky, it's invisible. Spooky snacks. Okay, so uh, scary good turkey dog treats for dogs. 
turkey dog. No, t turkey treats for dogs. So, just another look. Yeah, there's the Negan shirt. Okay, we're all set for the Phantom Feast and these ghastly goodies from Beyond the Grave. Ooh, 100% all natural. One treat per five pound dog. We can totally give Gizmo these. Anyway, you get you get all, you always get dog treats we'll inside see. these bags. Gizmo's That's awesome. He's got kidney problems. Let's not give him dog food. All right, so what's this thing, Jess? Why don't you explain what this, this is? This is so cool, and I'm so excited about this because <laughs> you guys know Gizmo. He was just here, but Gizmo is also the name of a gremlin from the movie Gremlins. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that is kind of interesting. Uh, so Gizmo so, is a name af named after a gremlin. Because he's kind of a gremlin. He is a little and gremlin. you should know that you don't feed gremlins after midnight. Because if you do, bad stuff happens. Okay, so what um, is we this? We gotta pop this open. Um, so this is a really cool like doggy placemat for you to put under your dog or cat's food. Uh-huh. So it says gremlins and don't feed after midnight. And those are little gizmos all over it. <laughs> okay. And we are gonna let Gizmo eat his breakfast down here because he eats his special cat breakfast and yeah, that's it's non it's non slip. Yeah, it's got the little stickies on the back. That's it's cool. Super, I was like, I opened it. I was like, this is the best loot pets we've gotten because Gizmo's a messy eater He's and a very he'll, messy. He'll eater. like just lick the stuff off the off plate. the plate and onto the floor. So now we've got a mat for him. It's, it's and it has uh, his his little icon. That's I pretty know. cool. Uh, machine washable microfiber, so it comes clean easy for when he puts his food all over. Yeah, it, that's gross. That's pretty sweet. So I like that. I like the shirt. I like this. And too. then of course, uh, with all loot pets, you get a pretty cool charm that you can put on your dog's, um, it, yeah, on your dog's collar. So this is actually a Halloween theme yeah. with Jason and a pumpkin. That's super cool. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So it says uh, loot Halloween. Pretty cool. All right. All right, so out of those items, you have the uh, dog treats, you have the Scooby-Doo squeaker, you have the placemat, and you have the Negan shirt and the charm. Out of those five items, What's the which coolest? one's your favorite? Which one is the coolest that you guys think? Jasmine Lovely says she likes the Scooby-Doo squeaky toy. Oh, that's cool, Jasmine Lovely. That's awesome. I agree. It's pretty cool. Our friend Allison is getting a dog, mm -hmm. and we're going to save that one for her because she's also a big Scooby-Doo fan. That's right. We're going to give her all these dog stuff, and we're going to give her the tire with that little bell in it. That's going to be really fun. Yeah. Okay. We're saving it for her when she gets her puppy. So here we go. The moment we've been waiting for, the Loot Crate Horror Crate. Let's go. Go ahead, Jess. Pop that thing open. Show everyone first. What do you know? It's Loot Crate. Go figure. That's what we're doing. Hmm. Okay. So again, oh man, wow, look uh, at that, look at that. Eeny. Yeah, eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Miny, moe. Who, is that the whole lineup? That's the whole lineup. That's all of them, wow. I needed this while I was forming my fan theories about who was going to get it. Now that mm -hmm. we all know, I'm not going to tell you anyway. Yep. But, my prediction was right. I needed this. Right. No, it wasn't. My prediction was right. You predicted this guy and this guy and none of those guys. Who did you guys predict? I listen when you talk. Bum, bum, bum. Who did you guys predict? I thought that Eugene was my first prediction, and then Abraham was my second prediction. Mm -hmm. And then you thought... I was totally... Oh, I'm not going to tell you if I was wrong or right. Right, but who did you... That was Maggie. Your, your prediction was Maggie. Yeah. All right. Let me know who you guys thought in the comment section below. But, like, thought what? Some of you guys who are oblivious are like, what? What are you talking about, Abdallah? I don't know. Anyway, so let's move on. What, what is our first item? First oh, order business. I need to business. get you the booklet. I was reading. Oh, yeah. What is this? Okay, let's go. So this is the horror. Um, I, like, I used to really love horror movies. Ah. But now I think they're kind of scary. But I still love The Walking Dead. But I love horror, like, books. I am a big Stephen King, Joe Hill fan. Uh-huh. So, like, I just get really excited when it's the scary stuff. Oh, man. Okay, well, oh, here man. we go. Oh, man. We're just getting started. Let's do it. So, the very first thing that we're going to show you guys is the Negan Sluggers Tea. Oh, How yeah. How super cool is wow. this? This has been sitting in a box, and I haven't been able to wear it, and I'm so excited now that it's out of the box I can wear it. Yeah, that looks pretty sweet. This, Negan. This shirt is rivaling the Deadpool shirt. Really? To me, in awesomeness. Really? Yeah. Like, you wear that Deadpool shirt all the time. I do. I, like, live in the And the Deadpool, Deadpool shirt, shirt came from a loot crate. 
It's this one, that, guys. It's the red one, yeah. <laughs> it's the, I love that shirt, but I think I will love this shirt with mm-hmm. as much love. Some of the people uh, guessed Abraham and Maggie as well, so that's interesting. Well, we knew we were going to get two, guys. We knew we were going to have two, and uh huh. we had two. We had too many feelings that day. <laughs> okay, so triple shirtception over here. Yeah, yeah. All right, go for it. Y'all have to look at Negan's face now. All right, Negan Slugger is done. All right, so Walking Dead, Negan Slugger shirt. It's um, warm in here. Designed to be a home run. But how cool is this shirt? Oh, uh, you pun. What? You pun. You hear Rocco? I do. Why is he meowing? Because I'm wearing three shirts. <clears throat> yes, that's probably why. Okay, so <laughs> we all know the shirt's probably the coolest thing in, in the in the crate. I don't know if anything can top it, to be honest. Okay, but the I'm shirt's definitely out. my favorite thing in the crate, but there yeah. are other cool things in the crate, too. <laughs> okay, Leatherface, Funny Plush. I totally thought this belonged in the Lutz Pets crate because I thought this was a dog toy. <laughs> you could probably give it to a dog. Right, what the heck is this? It's the <clears throat> Texas Chainsaw Massacre guy. We saw that movie together. It was scary. We saw like the reboot. Okay. Like the, what's that scary guy's name? I don't even Bob know. Bob Zombie? Sure, when sure. When he remade it. Is that a thing that happened? I don't know. <clears throat> but wow, Le- Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is like. Face. This leather is Leatherface, right? Yeah, Leatherface. It's too spoopy for me. Uh, if you should ever encounter him, wow, we don't recommend you walk up and hug him if you ever, uh, encounter the dude. That's weird. What the, is, do we have the happy one or sad one? We have the sad one. Okay, so there's a different variant in a crate where you can get one that has a smile on it. Interesting. Why is so, it yeah. dressed like a referee? Uh, I don't know, because that's what it looked like in the movie or something? I don't know. It looks like he should be doing baseball. Yeah, so let's see. Presents his adorable plush from Kid Robot's funny line. Uh, let us know if you get the happy or sad version. There's a 50% chance you'll get either. Go figure, there's only two. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> mm. Wow. Would you survive? Probably not. <clears throat> okay, I think we should play a game. Okay. You guys want to play a game? Okay. The game's called Would You Survive? Okay. All right. So here we go. Yeah, you can play too. And all of you guys in the comments, you guys play as well. Let's do this. All right, so question number one. You're being chased right now, Mm -hmm. all right? Think about it. You're being chased. Yeah. What's your top priority? Getting away. No, it's multiple choice. Oh, sorry. (laughs) Getting away. (laughs) Sure, sure. That's Okay. It's either hiding, outrunning the creature, outrunning my friends, or I prefer to face my fears with a taser. What do you think? Outrunning my friends. Outrunning your friends. Sorry, so friends. you want your friends to get I sacrificed. I don't want them to, but, but that's probably to... my best chance of survival. I can sprint, but I can't run for a long haul. But and when you hide, they always find you. And then hiding. You're, you're like under the bed, right? And you got this, and they're like girls like this. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, the monster grabs her feet and drags her out from under the bed. I don't want to be that. Okay. I don't want that to happen. Instead to me. of outrunning the creature, you just outrun your friends. Why wouldn't you just outrun the creature? I know I couldn't. Not run. I, I, I'm short distance sprinter. Okay. Not a long distance runner. All right. I prefer to face my fears with a taser. I'd do that. So let's see. Running away, taser, face your fears. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So here we go. Next question. Okay. All Am of you I guys living so far? Is there like a... I honestly, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you. Okay. So you said, um, Sorry. outrunning your friends. Yeah. Okay, so that was C. Remember, I did it in order A, B, okay, or C. Okay, hold on. You need to you read it one more time and then <laughs> tell us our letters. All so right, we, we, can we have them. to do letters, okay? So fine. A is hiding, B is outrunning the creature, C is outrunning my friends, okay. and D is I prefer to face fears with a taser. You guys write these down too, okay? I am. Sure. All right, so you hear a sound in the insert creepy place. Okay. Do you investigate? No. That's not the question. Okay, sorry. But I have some multiple choice answers. I'm not very them. good at waiting. A, of course. I'll check it out all by myself and not tell anyone where I'm going. No, foolish. B, sure. I'll even bring a friend and we'll split up to cover more ground. No, foolish. C, nope. Sitting on the couch pretending nothing happened. Yes. Oh my gosh. Is there another D, option? oh, absolutely. Let me just get in my car and drive to the nearest fast food restaurant. I'm a big fan of C. 
I like to pretend nothing. To pretend bad it. Is oh happening. my gosh! Like I tried that when there was a when there was a what was in the garage? Tell that one time it was a ghost. There, I thought there was a ghost in the garage <laughs> one day, and I was playing Smash Bros. And I'm like, you know what? If I just keep playing Smash Bros., I'm gonna block it out. If I call Jess at work and tell her that she's <laughs> and there was a ghost in the garage, <laughs> and I'm afraid. Anyway, I was I was I was so afraid that day. Guys, it was a groundhog. There was a groundhog in our garage. It was it or was the worst. Or a muskrat or some sort of small brown fluffy. I don't know. It was animal. weird. Anyway, it was a good day. So what would you guys do? Uh, check it out all by yourself and not tell anyone. Uh, bring a friend to split up. Sit on the couch. Oh, absolutely. Let me just get in my car and drive the nearest fast suitor. Why would you do that? I don't understand. Because they're like getting, a joke you're, yeah, you're leaving. You're running away. You're essentially running away. Oh, I would. Let's go B for me. I would bring a friend and split up to cover more ground. What was your first answer? D. My fans, yeah, first answer was D. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I keep track for both of us. Okay, so here we go. Third question, and you guys are all writing this at home. Okay. Oh, look, an ancient book filled with arcane markings. Should you read it? Okay, A, absolutely, I'll pick a page and read it out loud. <laughs> How would I read it? I don't know. B, sure, I'm curious. C, no, are you nuts? D, ha, please, I, I can barely even read this quiz. <laughs> <laughs> I know your answer. <laughs> oh, man. What are you picking, Bella? <clears throat> I am, um, I'm curious as to, like, how are we going to read it, right? Absolutely, I'll pick a page and read it out loud. Oh, you, a. Wait, your answer is D. I can barely Ready even read, read this, this quiz. quiz. Okay, how about you? I picked B. B, sure, I'm curious. So there's like two yeses, one no. Well, two no's, I guess it's like how, where do you guys want to go? Okay, so here we go. The fourth question out of five. Uh, your friends have a fun weekend plan, hanging out in the old mental institution. Hmm. What are you bringing to this party? I don't know. It's chips and guacanats? No, no, it's not. Oh. A, our favorite beverages... B, a GPS, flashlight, map, emergency supplies, and I'm telling my friend where I'm going. That seems pretty smart. <laughs> C, a terrible secret that somehow connects me to said mental institution. That's weird. And D, none of the above. I clearly need new friends. Perhaps I can find some at the nearest fast food restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> what is D, like all the I'm hungry ones? What is I this? I like B, because I would want people to know where I was. B? Yeah, I okay. would go prepared. Uh, like yeah, you know what? I would actually say D. Okay. None of the above. I clearly need new friends. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps I can find some of the nearest fast food restaurant because I'm hungry. All right. Okay, last question. What do you guys think? Okay, and then tally up yours and you'll find out. All right. You're face to face with a villain. What do you do? Okay, you scream right. or stand silently in shock. A. B. Try to fight back. C. A witty one-liner. D. No, I'm not. I left hours ago for some fast food, remember? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. You're face-to-face -face with a villain. What do you do? Try to fight back, scream, stand silently in shock. Like, what I would want to do is is B. What I probably would actually do is A. With a villain, you'd run, or you'd scream and stand silently in shock. Yeah, that's true. If there's a villain. Like, in real life, if it was, like, me and Hegan's bat, I'd be like, ah. That would be scary. I wouldn't be like, I'm, I'm going to say too. B. Try to fight back. I'm going to go with B too, just because I said so. Okay. So, now it says, if you are mostly A's, okay? You're 50-50, yeah. Okay, so I'm 50-50, what? B's and D's, right? And then what yeah. are you? Um, B. And Jess is more majority B? Yeah. Okay. So I'm split between A and... B. No, no. D and B. D and B. All right. So if you're mostly A's, we'll miss you. Yeah, you're, you're not going to make it, friend. Uh, best to just party until the end. All right, so here we go. Mostly B's, which is Jess. You make it to the finale. You're going to survive so much that we'll be sure that you're safe. And then you make a fatal mistake. Probably. That okay. sounds about right. Mostly C's. That's me, right? No. no I'm B and D. All right. Okay, so uh, C's. C was my second. Most. You're the scream queen. You're definitely going to make it. Too bad about all your friends. <laughs> And then mostly D's. You're not even in the movie. Congrats. Enjoy your trauma-free life. Aww, Yay. Was that go. fun? That was kind of fun. That was exciting. Okay, I moving on. I like playing those kinds of games with you guys. So which one were you guys? Were you guys mostly A's, B's, C's, or D's? Let me know and let everyone else know in the comment section below. That was pretty exciting.
Okay, <clears throat> moving on. Ooh, what is this? What? These are super what? cool. What? Oh, are you looking at the recipe? Yeah, there's a recipe for something here. Anyway, so this is exclusive Freddy Krueger chopsticks. Add a sprinkle of fright to your meal with these stainless chopsticks. Perfect for display or daily use. They're the utensils of your dreams. Get it? Ooh, huh. wow. These so, are so weird. I love it. Freddy Glove. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was kind of scary. <laughs> He's looking at you right now. Freddy Glove chopsticks. What? So in case you don't know how to use chopsticks, these are like beginner chopsticks. Right? The hand is squishy. Can you take the hand off and use the things? No. No, okay. The hand is made of squish? Yeah, it is kind of made out of squishy. squish. Oh, weird. So, yeah. Should we bring these next time we go get sushi? Yeah, they're we'll say. They're kind of hard to use. <laughs> well, they're beginner chopsticks. They're be I'm, I'm <clears throat> surpassed beginner. Yeah. So, apparently, like, uh, yeah, you go through and you squeeze them, and uh, you can bring your own chopsticks to the uh, nearest sushi restaurant and you can say don't worry i got my own oh, you bust uh -huh. out these you poke yourself and you're like the ah they're scary there's actually a recipe in here for freddy's spaghetti and eyeballs weird it'd be weird to eat spaghetti with chopsticks yeah this is interesting because it's not spaghetti and meatballs it's spaghetti with eyeballs what they do is they take a little uh, glob of mozzarella a ball of mozzarella. Like a fresh mozzarella yeah fresh mozzarella and they put like olive um yeah Cut your green olives into circular slices. That's very cool. All right, moving on. What else we got? These. Yeah, we do have those. So weird to feel these. What else is in there? Am I missing something? Probably, because there's, there's, there's two more things in here. Oh, there's That's a one. book. <laughs> what? Legion of Regrettable Supervillains book? And I'm super excited about this, because we have the Legion of Regrettable Superheroes. Okay. And now we have the Supervillains book. So it's got, like, really, like... Open it up for them. Not so great. Super bad guys. Okay. Um, Interesting. they're all Satan. Like, the Seaweed Queen. Oh, wow, that's interesting. So that's cool that it's it's a full-on hardcover book. Yeah. So you'll have a kick with that, reading that. So, uh, in over 80 years of comics, not every character is a winner. In fact, some villains are horrifyingly bad. Read like all about animal, them. Like Animal Vegetable Mineral Man, guys. Animal Vegetable Mineral Man. Are you kidding me? What the heck? I want to read about that, and I'm interested now. Okay. All right, well, let's continue on. You could read about that over breakfast. What is that thing? Did I miss that somewhere? Yep. Okay, come here. Okay, so this is Camp Gore Crystal the Lake. the Ape Man. What? Nice. All right, so here we go. For those of you guys who um, watched the movie Jason, I guess this is from Jason. I, I, I'm not a big horror movie fan. Camp Crystal Lake. Uh, fan, but Camp Crystal Lake. Ah, picturesque Camp Crystal Lake. Oh, no. Your commemorative Lake. pennant has a bit of red on it. Uh, don't mind that. Everything's fine. Nothing to see here. So, that's interesting. Where is that from, Camp Crystal Lake? It's from, you just said it where it was from. Is it? It doesn't say that on there. Licensed by Paramount. Uh, Internet, help us. Hold it, hold it. There's, there's Michael. Is No, no. There's Michael and there's Jason. Jason Who's Voorhees? The, that's the guy with the, the, the mask. The, the mask. Husky, yeah. So that's him, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Michael's Halloween and Jason's Camp Crystal Lake. And then Chainsaw Massacre's Chainsaw Massacre. Maybe. Camp Crystal Lake pennant and you can wear it on your head. You can do whatever you want with it because it's yours if you've got a loot crate. <clears throat> that's right. What else we got? Camp Crystal Lake pennant. That's kind of cool. I think it makes a wonderful hat. Okay, last thing? Yeah, unless you want me to do this. Oh, yeah, I do. So you can work on that. So you can work on that while I show everyone that you get a pretty cool loot pin from October, Halloween. What's the music of Halloween? One time we went to a corn maze. Yep. And I put on my Pandora's channel. It's called Spooky Symphonies. Yep. And they were just playing that on Spooky Symphonies. And I was just walking around a cornfield with that playing. And I totally separated from Abdallah and all my other friends who we were there with. You did. And yeah, I started scaring myself because that was scary. You did do that. I did do How many guys have ever gone to a corn maze before? How about the world's largest corn maze? The world's largest corn maze is right in our backyard. Yeah, sure. Anyway, so right now <laughs> Jess is ripping apart the actual loot crate box because she's got a pretty cool surprise for you. 
So I'll just let her go ahead and do that. But uh, yeah, while she's doing that, why don't you tell me your favorite part or your favorite item out of the entire loot crate? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm ripping apart the box. Oh, okay. You want like scissors or something? Dude, read the comments. All right, I'm reading the comments. What was your favorite item? My favorite item was a Negan shirt, of My course. Shirt. Nice. Uh, I do like the fact that there was a book that came in there about like all the um, the villains that are just weird. Uh, so yeah, let me know. <clears throat> do you own a scissors? Do I own a scissors? Not near here, but if you want to go downstairs and go get one, yeah. Okay, Jess is going to go and uh, grab some scissors, and I'm just going to chat with you guys about the loot crate. So yeah... Uh, <laughs> Trust me, it's total. It's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be super worth it. Okay, uh, so uh, Tyson likes the chopsticks. I like the t the chopsticks too, dude. I think that's pretty fun. I can only imagine if someone actually brings said chopsticks to a restaurant. Just like, oh yeah, got these over here. Chopsticks for sushi. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, what else do you guys like? Okay, uh, Rosalia likes the banner. That's pretty fun. Uh, okay, so Dan Corio likes the Negan shirt. I'm right with you, man. That is the coolest Negan shirt. Like, if you go through and you actually see someone, uh, like, at school with that Negan shirt on, you're like, oh, yeah, dude, that guy got it from Loot Crate. He is awesome. All right, let's see. The Jason flag, Austin Roy likes. You guys really like the Jason flag, huh? Are you guys big fans of, like, horror movies? Because uh, I'm I'm honestly not. I get I get too too afraid easily. You guys saw how afraid I get in Five Nights and Freddy's, right? And, like, Resident Evil, I play that VR demo, and it's, it's scary. Like, scary stuff, I don't like, because I get too into it. Whenever I go through and, like, watch a scary movie... I would often pretend that I'm in the movie, and I would get super spooked out. So, uh, yeah, the chopsticks are a little creepy, Sarah. You are absolutely right. Uh, what else? Okay, so AJK, Bears Bound, likes the shirt. That's pretty fun. Yeah, that's good. I like the shirt, too. All right, Jess, you coming back? Yeah. All right, Jess is coming back with the grand finale. Brace yourselves, okay? Brace yourselves. I have no idea what she's been doing. But she's been ripping apart the interior of the Loot Crate box. I need those strings. And, um, and just needed something else for, uh, for everything. So, brace yourselves for it, guys. Here it comes. Wow. That's actually kind of cool. So I just got a little sneak peek of what's going on over there. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, the, uh, yeah, the Loot Crate, the Loot Pads is pretty fun, too, so... All that stuff is good. Just just get at it. Get every single one of them. I can't wait for Loot Wear because Loot Wear has a lot of awesome, fun stuff. Yeah, we'll and uh, we're going to go from there. So it looks like Jess is going to make her appearance. Like, I have two options here. Do you want me to just leave it like this or do you want to pop these out? Uh, that's actually really good. That, it yeah, that's very good and like very this? spooky. I am, I'm literally afraid. I might actually just leave. Because I, oh my, oh my gosh, that's so scary. I can't see nothing. Oh my gosh. I can't see anything. But you got the movements though. Oh, I'm like legit getting slightly afraid now. Oh, okay, don't, don't move like one, please. I am afraid of remember zombies. Remember one time in the movie theaters? Yes, I do remember and I was, Jess and I went to go see Dawn of the Dead. But this sounds like it's the No, guys. Jess and I went and saw Dawn of the Dead, and after the movie I was terrified, and then Jess pretended to be a zombie afterwards and chased me through the parking lot. This is so And funny. I was terrorized ever <laughs> since. This is so scary. Are That's you kidding so me? so funny. <laughs> do scary movements. No, I do not like being a zombie. I'd be zombie. Now. Brains. No way. That is so scary. Oh my goodness. Well, it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> too real looking. Yeah. Ugh, zombies, man. Zombies. You love zombies. I do love zombies. What are you doing? I just wanted to see what it looked like. <laughs> it looked really creepy. You're creepy. It's scary. Look, oh my gosh. <laughs> just watching the replay is just 
Oh my goodness, I'm going to have nightmares tonight. Wow. Who you are, because I'm going to be sleeping with this on my face. <laughs> like, if, if just, like, looks luminously over me with that mask on, I'm Tomorrow just going to... Tomorrow when I say, Dala, it's time to get out of bed. Dala, it's time to get out of bed. Dala, it's time to get out of bed. Oh my gosh. And then gosh. I'll just jump on the bed and oh, fight I'm you. Gonna, uh, we need to get rid of that mask right now. I will take the string and I'll use the string for my cheek squeak mask, that Enzo 8. No, it's mine. This we are my not. Mask. No. No. We're not going to do that. Oh my gosh. Yes, you you guys think that it's just a mask, but my brain works differently than your brain does. I legitimately think it's a zombie, and I get afraid. Because I don't like zombies. My goodness gracious, you scared me. Good. All right, well, hopefully that's fun for you. You know what? Okay. This is fun for me. That's cool. That's cool that it's... Look it. it. This is worth your $20. That's totally right worth the 20 here, bucks. Because you could put this on... That's so scary and right there. send the messages. Don't. And say, hey, Dolo, I'm your biggest friend. My name is Zombie Face Number One. I'm afraid of zombies. What? Everyone's afraid of something. Zombies. It's scary. Anyway, so that's going to be it for our live stream, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Uh, let us know what your favorite... Your favorite items out of all these loot crates are. Let us know in the comment section below. And, of course, uh, don't forget to it's click on the links. Yeah, it could be. Uh, don't forget to click on the links below. Uh, to get your very own loot crate, and Halloween is past, but still. Oh, what's the what's next month? Oh yeah, we gotta go look at next month, huh? I think that's just for loot crate DX. All right, our next. What is our next? Oh yeah. Oh, oh here we go. Next month's theme. Dun dun dun. Yeah, it doesn't actually tell us anything. Isn't right it? There. Isn't it not this one? This is not it. That's just if you order. I believe next month has a Doctor Strange action figure. Oh, November. Yeah, it will be. It's it will be magical. magical. Who the heck is this? What is that? And that's Game of Thrones. And that's Doctor Who? Is that Doctor Who? No, that's um, the beast. Uh, magical beast. Magical beast. Find them. That's Game of Thrones. What the heck is this? What is that? I don't know. Someone tell us what this is. But we actually saw the movie Doctor Strange. It was so good. It was good. really good. We didn't know good. anything Doctor Strange related going in. And it was, well, all the Marvel movies are, like, awesome. So Apparently it's called Big Trouble in Little China. Oh, that's like an 80s movie. Oh, okay. Is that like a cult classic that Probably. I've never heard of? All right. Well, I can't wait to see what they have for Game of Thrones magic. But yeah, you guys go through and make sure that you guys order for the next one. It's going to be awesome. So your last day to order is the 19th. Yeah, your last day to order right here at 9 p.m. So go through. Don't miss out on it. Like, I missed out on that Zelda hoodie. I want to get it. I got to go talk to Loot Crate people and see if they can hook me up. Also... Remember, what? Loot Crate makes a wonderful Christmas gift. That's right. It makes a good Christmas gift, so go got through. got something for everybody. Like, even if you're like, well, I don't know. Like, there's Look, a Hello Kitty bucks? one, guys. Right, yeah, there's a Hello Kitty crate. There is anime. There is, oh my gosh. What the heck? That's so scary. Is that the same as my mask? I don't know. I don't think so. We we got a different mask. The mouth looks the same. I think it's just how her hair is. Oh, yeah, maybe. Whoa. They, she, she put her hair over it so it doesn't look like a mask. Yeah. Oh, that's so scary. Next time. Right I am now. So, don't do it. Don't do it. The internet says it. I should do it. Don't do Except it. Except for that one guy who hates it. Oh, no. But anyway, go through. It makes a great present. Christmas is around the corner, so... All right, everyone wants to see... <laughs> Is it doing good now? Yes, it's all. Oh, it's very good. That one strand of hair is looking totally realistic. Yeah. I'm so afraid. Are you afraid now? I am afraid now. Wow, that is so. Do not screen cap that and do not tweet that at me, ladies and gentlemen. And do not tweet at Loot Crate when you tweet that. Okay, so do not. Oh my gosh, do not do that. All right, that's gonna be it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next Loot Crate live. Oh my gosh, we'll see you in the next Loot Crate really live. Look good. Let me see. Yes, you'll see it in a moment. Okay. We'll, we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for being here. And don't forget to buy your own loot crate. Use the uh, links in the description below. We'll see you guys no, later. No, the zombie will get you. Yes, the zombie will get you. Bye. Bye, Anna.